Francois Truffaut is very famously quoted as stating, every film about war ends up being pro-war. I, I really wonder what Truffaut's feelings would have been upon viewing L.M. Klimov's 1985 picture, Come and See. I'm not being in disagreement with Truffaut. On the contrary, I actually, in a respect, I couldn't agree with it more. Uh, even going back to You're All Quiet on the Western Front and then to Kubrick's Paths of Glory, which Truffaut actually singled out, and then to, in my opinion, Oliver Stone's Platoon, and then to Spielberg Saving Private Ryan and contemporary war films downstream of those titles, I really would have been interested in knowing what Truffaut would have felt about 1985's Come and See. I don't necessarily think it would have made him change his mind on, on, his, on, his, on his infamous thesis. Um, it hasn't necessarily changed my mind on it, to be honest. But it makes me consider wherever I ought to. I mean, if it's only the one film that's being in existence that's making me challenge this, this concept, this principle, so it's not even a principle so much as a, a, a unshaking intuitive observation that one, or at least I have to kind of engage, engage in some insincere mental gymnastics in order to convince myself that I don't feel that way or I ought not to feel that way about, you know, these vainglorious war films that have existed throughout you know, the decades. But yeah, the existence of one film in come and see to exist as the argument in favor of the notion that a war film can exist that is anti-war well i still don't know if i'm convinced i don't know if Truffaut would be convinced perhaps it's this idea of transferring the contents of the war genre into something that more resembles the horror genre is what is key to, for me anyway, to receiving the film differently. I don't know if that was the film's LM Klimov's intent. It might have been, for all I know. I mean, for what it's worth, in, in that gross genre categorization that is the war film, Come and See may very well be the best thing in, in that genre. There are certain films which we might sooner class as epics, you know, those couple of films directed by David Lean, for example, or we might consider, obviously we consider Casablanca a romance film, so that doesn't count. Now maybe we want to refer to Come and See as a horror film instead, and it can handily compete with some of the greatest horror films of all time, in my opinion. This is, this, this film is, oh, and especially in terms of having a disturbing affect, um, I literally said out loud, I've seen this film before and I, I, gee, I was watching it again and, um, you know, I actually said out loud, oh, that's fucked up. You know, I'm, I'm prompted, not trying to, you know, show off, not trying to virtue signal, just this instinctive, visceral um, disgust. But then I hear that, I listen to that recording back then, you know, of me, oh, that, oh, that's fucked up. Is it wrong still, or at least... Is reducing the horrors of war to <laughs> filmic horror reducing it still? Perhaps, but it's arguably a less or a more something more reminiscent of being anti war than being, you know, some action spectacle at least. Because at least in, in this case, we have. Um, transmitted the idea that war is disturbing and unpleasurable, that it is eponymous with torture, ubiquitous with rape and carnage, and just an act where a war film contains no action sequences, only, only torture sequences, only, only moments of ultimate ferociously traumatic affect. There's no hooray moments in a war film, at least they ought not to be. 
I think that's if if that's not what I think we can say if, if if that's not I'm not saying that's my belief I'm not saying that's true for his belief but I like to think that's what Klimov was getting across and I think that's I, I think come and see so it's a very agreeable definition for a manifesto if you will for what the what the war genre ought to aspire to if it has to aspire if it has to exist and aspire to anything may as well be that rather than the let's face it um kind of gratuitous gunk that the vast majority of Hollywood war films I love old Samuel Fuller don't get me wrong some of that stuff is sufficiently brutal and morally ambiguous to a degree that I find admirable and um, honest but I can't say the same for a lot of the mainstream war genre just I think it fits Truffaut's claim uh, Disturbingly, I feel like to try to discuss this topic more would just be profane, frankly, and so I'm going to leave it here.